Hello, 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 hello. I am, I wish I knew how to rap. I am Wonder Mike and I came to say hello to the black, black to the brown, the purple and yellow. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Anywho, I am back with my review for Sisters. Season 4, Episode 1, Brick Wall. Okay, so guys, you know, <clears throat> we're going to fix my little ponytail because it's tripping. So, um, you know, last, okay, Tyler, I don't know, but I, I, I don't know. I just I just want to email him one good time and, and be like, child, we ain't stupid, okay? So, y'all know, the last episode... Um, Gary walks in the room and, you know, well, Robert makes the comment, we want to do it again, and Gary walks in the room and say, can I join? Okay, so all of a sudden the scene opens up because you know that's what we're looking for, and she dreamed it. What? Like, I was like, what? Like, Tyler, you trying to play us crazy? Like... What? She dreamed it. Well, I don't... If she had that much time to dream that deep, Robin ain't doing his job. So, I'm not understanding. Can somebody help me out? I mean, you had a... <laughs> you had a nightmare, because that's what that was. A nightmare. A full-fledged nightmare. That Gary walked in the room. And I don't know, guys, I guess we should have figured he was going to come, he was going to come and play like it was a dream because, you know, if Gary would have walked in the room, he would have been trying to fight or mad or looking, you know, like he's about to go and, um, you know, what do them bulls do when they about to go and, and attack? You know, I, like, like he, <laughs> and attack, you know, he would have been looking like that. So I guess we should have known that it was something we should have known. I'm going to fix my light because, you know, I need to make sure my light fixed. So, I guess we should have known that Tyler was going to come with some bull crap. But, anywho, I'm glad it was a dream because I already figured that wasn't going to go too well for old girl. Okay? So, <clears throat> um, anywho, uh, I'm sorry, honey. It's after 12. I'm trying to make these videos. I got another video. But, I don't know. I have my, my my children's father bought me a camera. He bought me a 4K camera. But I don't like how the picture looks. So I don't know. And then I was trying to, I said, well, let me use it. You got to flip it. And I don't know. Like, I'm not feeling the camera. Like, I don't. I'm going to have to fix. I will have to figure it out because he bought it for me. So that my videos can be more, um, I don't know, 4K. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, you know what? I might, um, I might film, I might, uh, video a challenge this weekend and then see how it does. But for right now... Y'all see them pretty browns? I don't know. But I'm, 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 I I know I'm going to have to use it because he, he didn't just waste his money. So I'm going to have, I'm just a creature of habit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like change. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to start using it. Because if not, I, I never heard the end of it. Ever right, so anywho, um, back to sisters. Okay, so Preston, you remember the last episode? Preston was coming over when she was letting Fuego out the door. Okay, so Preston come on in. He's like, "Dad, what's going on?" And honey, El Fuego, he got excited. He wanted to sit down on the couch. He wanted to, you know, see what this was about. So. When he figured out, oh, okay, 
hmm, he decided to play like he was gay. All Danny had to do was go with it, but she was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, you know, he was like, oh, he's cute. And, you know, he was really playing it up to Preston. And she was like, what are you doing? And anywho, so she decided today was the day that she was going to tell Preston everything that was floating in her mind and, you know, every issue she had with him and whatever. So I was like, if I had a bucket of popcorn, I would have set it down and been like, what? What are you doing? Like, she was like, you break into my apartment and you had the landlord, you know, let you into my apartment. And when you say, um, you're not going to do it again, I trust you and you do it again. And you know, so he's standing there, you know, like, what, you know, and your brother's threatened my life and then they beat you up and I let you into my home. And the very next day, your sister was over here and your brothers could have gotten your sister's phone and came back over here. And what? I was like, what? That's how it was the whole time, that whole little episode, that whole little scene, rather. Because I was like, what? So, you were thinking his brothers were going to come over and attack you? <laughs> she, I, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, what? Okay, so he broke into your apartment to fix dinner. <laughs> Steak and potatoes, something you was not buying for yourself. And you were hiding from the landlord every time it was time to pay rent. So, what? Um, anybody out, out there in YouTube lane? If you want to break into, if you want to get in touch with my landlord to pay my rent, please inbox me so I can tell you, the, give you the phone number and the address to my office. Please. He broke into your house to fix dinner? Not break in and attack you, but he broke into your apartment and fix you dinner. Hmm. He talked to the landlord. So you didn't have a problem with him talking to the landlord when he paid your rent up for three months, but all oh, the landlord let him in to the apartment where he paid the rent up for three months and you have a problem. Now, out of all the girls, Danny and Fatima was my two, right? Danny is, no. The only one of these girls that seem to have a lick of sense is Fatima. It, it's Fatima. So, I was like, okay. Okay, okay. So... Um, Andy was, you know, she was, you know, since that was a dream, a nightmare, cause it was a nightmare. Uh, she was like, well, I got to go to work and blah, blah, blah. He was like, won't you come to London with me? I don't trust him. I'm telling you guys, I still don't trust Robin. And she was like to London and she was like, I don't act this way. You know, when I'm, when I'm not just. When I'm sober, I'm shy. Girl, if you don't... Baby, thought, get out the bed and go home and take a shower and get ready for work. Like I told you guys episodes ago, and, uh, Robin read her file and he realized she was easy like Sunday morning. I don't care what you say. He read her files and realized she was easy like Sunday morning. So he already, I, 
she leave. Don't watch me while I walk. Girl, go. Just go. Okay? Just just go. Okay? I was over it. I was like, okay. Okay. So, that was Andy. Fatima comes into the office, you know, after she put that beating on, had that beating put on Hayden, she comes to the office wearing her white suit her white outfit and purple shoes and she see all these flowers that Gary and I sent and did 25 million flowers right so she picks up a vase and take it into the office and 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 it comes into the office and now all of a sudden they're like what is who sent these and she's a you know who and she was like well donate them to a children's hospital or whatever right okay cool so, Andy notices something on Fatima's sleeve. She was like, oh, I spilled um, some fruit ju- juice on my sleeve, whatever. It'll be all right. Now, you know, it was Hayden's, Hayden's blood, you know. Anywho, so she was telling her, she started telling her about, well, she was going to tell her about, she t- well, they chatted up a little bit about she was spent the night with Robin and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Karen goes to the shop and uh, she walks into the shop and Pam tells her somebody is looking for her, some lady. <laughs> I love Pam. So she was, so she started to walk over there to the lady. Pam said, no, have her come over here so, if, you know, so I can help you. You know, if, you know, if the lady attack or whatever, she was like, what? She said, I know how to fight. <laughs> I love Pam. Pam said, look, you go over there and she tear you up like a spider monkey. I I, I got to run over there, baby. But at least if you right over here, I can, you know, grab some hair or do something. Like, I can help. Like, <laughs> like, the, like I'm, why did my ponytail keep going back? Okay. So, y'all know I'll be getting off track. So, uh. So the lady come over there and she start asking um her about Zach. And do you live do he do you do do uh, do you guys still live together? And she was like, no. She was like, when was the last time you talked to him? And she just started asking all these questions. And so Karen was like, why? Who are you? Tell me who you are. What are you asking for? And so the lady was very vague and she really didn't like she, you know, she didn't go into any details. So Karen was like, well, since you can't tell me anything, I don't have anything else to say. So she was like, she picked up her phone and so Pam Pam came through in this episode. Pam was like, Don't call him. They're gonna trace your call back. She was like, Oh yeah. And she was like, well, I'm gonna go. She said, Don't go there, they're gonna follow you. She was like, I know how to shake them or whatever. So, anywho, Maurice is he's uh he is PMSing because he's highly upset. He's PMSing to me. He is PMSing. That's what I got. He is PMSing. And, you know, he's going off and, you know, on, on uh, Sabrina, you know, she had apologized and he, you know, he's really in his feelings or whatever. And he, you know, he's just really lashing out at her. So, she calls Calvin and, you know, asks Calvin, can he, you know, come to the, come to the bank or whatever. He come, when he show up at the bank, um, she asks him to go talk to Maurice or whatever. So she, you know, she said, you know, she brought by his father and, you know, all of a sudden he's, you know, he's, he's just acting like, you know, like, like you making it very hard to love you right now. Cause you, you, you feel missing a little stronger than me. So he go back there to talk to him and, you know, he basically cussed him out and, and, <laughs> and, you know, he was like, well, Hey, I want you to meet somebody, blah, blah, blah. You know, that was the magic words. And so he, um, he agreed to it or whatever. Okay. So then, um, what's his name? Gary comes up to the office. And so, you know, and it's over it. And so Fatima said, I got this. So she go talk to him 
And he was like, oh, you playing me, right? You playing me? She's like, no, she's busy. She's in the meeting. She's busy. So he was going to go just walk around her like, you ain't talking about nothing. I don't have time for it. And so she said, don't make me act black in front of these people. Well, she, she, I think she said that or the other word. And so she said, I will, you know, fall down them st- those stairs over there and give you a case. And I guess he thought about it. He looked over there because she said she, <laughs> she would purposely fall and, and, and press charges on him. So he thought about it. He walked off. She's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, Danny goes to, you know, she goes to work or whatever because her and Preston basically broke up. Preston told her, you know what? So basically this is all bull crap. You only st- saying this stuff because you want to date him and, and you know, other guys or whatever. She was like, so you got all of that from what I said? Because, you know, you know, she was like, because I, I, I mean, basically, I, I was saying the same thing. I was like, so you're feeling like he's invading your space? I don't know, because to me... She took something and tried to make it ugly. And I didn't understand that. Like, if you guys out there see this review, explain it to me. Because to me, I was like, you're trying to make what he, his feelings and the things he do for you, you're trying to turn those ugly. And then you're trying to base it on the fact that, oh, his brothers threaten your life. And I was like, what? Danny, what? Because I I just don't see, you know, I, I just don't see what she was talking about. I don't see that. And then this was the kicker for me. This this is this is what <laughs> she said. Do and, and and you don't even um know when you handcuff me, um when you handcuffed me to the bed and stood over me naked and talking about no gal, some, and I was like, but you handcuffed him the week before and you didn't have a problem with it. And he didn't handcuff you all mean and vile and he, what? I was like, okay, okay. At this point, Preston, Bow out gracefully because you know what? She got issues and her issues is she don't want to get close to somebody because they was in a full fledged relationship. She dumbed it down to a booty call, got in her feelings because he was not calling her. And now you're saying now you you didn't mention any of that, right? You didn't mention any of it. Now you're saying you feel threatened in your house and you don't know if his brother's going to come and, you know, harm you or. Mm, Okay. Okay. That's your story. Please stick to it. Okay. I was over it. I was like, okay, whatever. So. Karen goes to talk to Zach. <laughs> so she walk up or no she just you know she just appeared right he was telling the men you know how to do whatever and so he was like so this what we doing now you just gonna pop up and so so anyway she, so they had words you know and so she was like this lady came to the shop you know she looked like a police what have you done or whatever and so he was like, what? And she was like, this lady came asking me questions about you or whatever. I know she was the police. So, you know, what do you want me to tell? He said, give her my number. <laughs> she was like, I don't want my child's father in jail, going to prison or whatever. Okay. Because, you know, Hayden started the storm. Oh, he started it. Oh, he started it, you know. Um, I'm just trying to see how they're going to finagle it, right? I'm just trying to see how they're going to finagle it because he started it. Like, he actually called and whatever. So, you know, 
I don't know. I just think I, for some reason, guys, I'm thinking Zach will be able to get out of that because he didn't place the bet. He didn't place the money on the late. He didn't take her money and place place it on the stock. He didn't take her money. So, I mean, okay, you can't say he didn't. He couldn't have just thought of that on his own. I mean, you know, just at the clear blue sky because anybody could be like, okay, well, I ain't never heard of that before. You never know. Here's my, the last, the last I have on this right here. And then if it go up, you telling me there's a chance someone can call the SEC because I took a chance on the stock. Even though let's be real, it was inside of trading. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to see how they're going to finagle Zach out of it. Okay. So, uh, Karen was like, well, you going to show me the house? <laughs> this was funny to me. She said, you going to show me the house? He was like, oh, you know, you know, it's glass and everything in there. I don't want, you know, being pregnant. I don't want to. Baby, she got hot, heated. And he was, she, she was like, really, Zach? And he was like, well, fine. If you want to go in here out pregnant and walk over glass or whatever. And she said, never mind. You know, he was like, well, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, if you want to go in the house <laughs> She was hot. And so he was like, where your car? She was like, again, I didn't want them to, I didn't want to lead them to you. So I parked down the street and walked over here. I thought that was sweet. You know, I like Zach with Fatima. I do. I do. But not a but. I'm sorry. No buts, no buts, no buts. I like Zach with Fatima. I just think what she did to tonight in this episode was was good. I just I I she wasn't such a you know, she she was okay in this episode. I mean, she still had attitude. Ugh. But, you know, she didn't lead them to Zach. You know what I'm saying? Like she like she said she left parked down the street and walked. I mean, like hey, I don't know. So he called Fatima and then, um, you know, Fatima sitting in the office getting the goods on what happened the night before with Robin. So honey, she ain't heard a phone go off. She ain't heard nothing. Next thing you know, you see people running. <laughs> you see people running and running and running. They like, what's going on? And then this lady coming there and said, Hayden is found dead in his car. Who gonna miss him? There shouldn't even be an investigation or anything. Who will miss Hayden? Nobody. Nobody. So, guys, you know, it's just the fire is just now turning up because I don't know. In the, in the next episode, Andy was telling um, Fatima and Zach, but you, both of you going to jail. Zach was not present. No, we both not going to jail. I mean, <laughs> oh, she might have been talking about uh, about that money. And then she might have been telling Fatima she going to jail for having Hayden killed. So, yeah, whatever. Well, in that case, yeah, they both might be going to jail. <laughs> so, guys, this was my review of Sister Season 4, Episode 1. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So... Dan was in the um, airport, and so Fuego came, and, you know, he really wanted to get with Danny, right? She was like, you a stripper. You take your clothes off and block, you know. And he, it's like he got, really, he got nasty with her. He was like, really? You know, she was like, you take your clothes off, whatever. And she was like, wow, well, something interesting in me. He said, well, I've been interested in you since college. Like, I've always tried to get with you. And she was like, nah, I'm a pass. And he got nasty a little bit. And, you know, she was like, well, take your attitude and go. <laughs> so little man came and was trying to, you know, really he was just trying to shoot his shot. Well, no, he was trying to be, distract her because in the next episode, so, so Danny had been trained to look for people trying to traffic kids. And so she goes and talks to Howard, and she's like, Howard, um, I think, you know, he's over there trying to traffic some kids, and they told us to reach out. And baby, Howard said, I'm going to lunch. And she was like, you'll never do nothing. So she goes and she calls whoever, and I don't know if they call the police or whatever, but 
uh, in the next episode, uh, I know she's supposed to tell him this child is not going anywhere with you, you know, with the trafficking and stuff like that. So it's, it's getting interesting. I, I mean, well, it's been interesting, but I'm just going to say tonight's episode was good. Tonight, I, I tolerated Karen. Yeah, I could tolerate her tonight. Um, But that Andy and Sabrina and even Danny, you, you know, it don't take much for Sabrina for me. You know, just, I, I spoke about his dad. It, it don't take much for, oh, I just, oh. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sean's journey out.